Halo Wars 2 and MCC updates currently halted to a near stall. MCC progression system being added in, PC features coming to the MCC, glimpse of the PC UI as well, a brand new website created for player feedback, and some more information on the MCC flighting when it comes to Halo Reach. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news update video when it comes to Halo on the MCC here for you guys. There's recently an update posted up in Halo Waypoint so I'm going to give you guys the TLDR and the whole thing. So if you guys enjoy these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video. If you want to update with anything Halo related as an MCC, Halo Infinite, Halo 5, everything in between make sure you tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified whenever we do anything awesome on the channel which is going to be every time so let's get right into the video here so remember sketch tweeted out about a month ago now earlier in april saying that expect to see some flighting programs for the Re for halo reach on mcc probably by the end of this month well the month has come and gone and we still haven't had a chance to play mcc on pc much less halo reach and so this blog basically goes into telling you why it's been taking a little bit longer than expected. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys all the details that you need to know what's come moving forward with this update. So let's get right in. Now currently do remember that Splash Damage is doing the PC upgrades while Ruffian Games is doing the porting for Halo Reach to the Xbox. So you keep in mind that 343 actually isn't doing any of the actual heavy lifting here. It's the 343 publishing team, basically the team that kind of coordinates with all these other teams that kind of they hire up to do all different kinds of work for them to um, put this all together for us. Actually, in this Waypoint update, the senior producer from Splash Damage, George Wright, actually got a chance to give us a little insight when it comes to bringing MZC to PC. He does mention that right now Halo Reach is in a rather playable state at the moment as you will see later on this video that they actually are currently playtesting MCC on PC and it's functioning rather well but he does state that there is a very high bar when it comes to be able to release this game out to the public especially tagging it with the MCC brand as well that you, you know that they're going to have to make sure that this is extra squeaky clean because if anything goes wrong with this you know that the fan base are going to give him hell about it. He also goes into a little about the coding and a little about the DNA when it comes to these Halo games and bringing them over to the PC. And he sees that there's some really old code that's been staying around for Halo for such a long time that it's kind of cool to see, go back in history and read uh, what people were writing about Halo and seeing how a lot of the you know core mechanics of Halo have stayed true throughout the different iterations of the game. Which, I mean, why mess with perfection, obviously? Don't fix if it ain't broken, obviously, right? So we kind of talk about like how all these different code lines have stayed for over 20 years in this engine, which is pretty crazy to look at. And some of the uh, comments that were mentioned in the uh, coding are kind of funny as well, dating as far back as 1993. He states, what is the most challenging part about bringing the MCC to the PC? And he says essentially it's because we have so many different games that were all built for very specific hardware for the most part. It says over 7 terabytes of data to go through to try to make sure that all these different parts are working together. As you know, we have CE, CE Anniversary, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo ODST. Uh, Halo Reach coming in as well right there. So that's nine different game engines essentially that they need to bring over to the PC for this to even function properly. So there's going to be a lot of work to bring this over, especially since games for like Halo 3, Halo ODST, uh, Reach, Halo 4 as well, were all developed for a very specific hardware set for the 360. So not only bring that over for the PC, but also making sure that it's compatible with most, multiple different kinds of hardware configurations. Obviously, you can see a lot of detail needs to go into the, making sure that this is correct. And so, yes, we do have not had the chance to have a chance to play MCC on the PC, but you know, they're making sure they're doing this correctly. And so I, I applaud them for not rushing out a product, which we've seen the quite, happen quite often in the gaming industry. They also go on forward asking about what the recent accomplishment or milestones that they've done for the MCC. Well, they've mentioned that they've done a complete overhaul of the MCC user interface, that, stating that, We've completed the visual designs for the new system, but the rollout of the new UI will be gradual. It's an 
incredibly labor intensive task to replace the old system and have it work alongside new tech but it will be worth it. They even mentioned about adding in a progression system to the MCC as we do know that you know MC basically released without one and uh, it does sound like Reach will have like your standard customization armor customization progression system from what it sounds like but it sounds like they're also going to try to deliver that across the MCC as well. They didn't hear saying it. it will be a straightforward and familiar system that allows players to track their Halo gameplay experience and unlocks. Our plans for progression are much wider. However, we have a few things up our sleeves that we hope will really engage the whole Halo community. So that certainly gets my attention right there because obviously that's something that progression system has been shown that will help keep players more interacted with your game. Now I did mention earlier about a list of different settings and features that we're looking for on the MCC on PC. Well, we're going to go into a little bit of that as well. It's a long list, but all of them are very key when it comes to bringing this game to PC. And that's for the controls, robust actions and mapping options, uh, great keyboard and mouse input across the entire game, uh, low input latency and leveraging the raw input and latency validation via low slow motion cameras, uh, support for a broad set of mouse and gameplay options. Things like a UI update, FOV slider, text chat, super important right there, honestly, it really is. Uh, res range of resolutions, you know, different things like 4K resolutions, 4x3 all the way up to 21x9 uh, ultra wide, G Sync, Free Sync support, high refresh rate support, mice high and low DPIs, multiple style of keyboard, video cards, different types of controllers you can use for the game as well, as well as just loading optimization, uh, borderless full screen, flexible window resizing, uh, graceful handling between going all tabbing when it comes to PC, because some games handle that very well, just all tabbing out of the game, and some games really struggle with that. And so, especially I've noticed with games that get ported over or have console as their main platform, I definitely noticed that saying like alt tabbing or alt entering with the game certainly can even help it crash it or it just become a really big issue. So I'm glad they're looking into that. We're here, you can see a little bit of progress when it comes to the PC UI, when it comes to setting up your controls for the MCC. So you can see that they have things like low conversion, fly inversion, crouch behavior. So I know they're gonna be doing toggle crouch, which is great. Mouse sensitivity, vehicle sensitivity, zoomed mouse sensitivity. I'm glad that they did three separate sensitivities for all of the, all of those. A lot of games you don't get that option anymore. Uh, mouse acceleration, mouse smoothing, raw inputs as well. So certainly stuff that's very necessary for the MCC on PC to be a true PC experience. Now with this flighting program potentially being a much larger scale than the previous flight program was, uh, which was kind of confirmed by Sketch later on in this post, that they realized that they're going to have to find a way to kind of consolidate all this information saying that because Sketch and everyone else from the community team were pulling information from Waypoint, from Twitter, from Reddit, and you know Discord servers and a lot of different locations. And so what they're going to try to do is consolidate that into one location. That is going to be the Halo Insider support website. There you'll be able to search for issues that you've probably been coming across, see if anyone else has been talking about it and also just post in your issues as well. And there's kind of general questions, I'm sure, as well when it comes to the MCC Insider program. So this will be a great tool for you guys to use. And now, Halo Insider updates. We know we have a website coming for it, but what about the Inside program itself? Uh, again, like this, these are going to be people who are going to be able to chance to flight the MCC on PC, Halo Reach as well. And so, you know, people have been going, hey, when do I get my chance to put my hands on this? Well. Not right now, but uh, just letting you guys know that the outpour of support was crazy. They fulfilled their mark of how many people they wanted in this flight program within hours of the announcement. And so you guys know that a lot of people are super excited to get their hands on Reach and MCC just in general on PC, which is really great to hear. Uh, though since there is going to be a lot of people with this program, that doesn't mean that when if flights start first rolling out, not a lot of people are going to be able to get in it as much like with the MCC when it first started out was that it's going to start with a small pool and then grow larger and larger as it does. But of course, as it grows larger, you need to have scaling for feedback for that kind of stuff as well. So you come, they've been coming across a lot of technical issues. But I think also just the amount of people wanting to play 
these flighting programs has actually probably delayed the flighting program itself, if that makes sense. Though the sketch does mention that eventually they do want all the people who sign up for the Halo Insider to get a chance to play in with some of these flights. So don't worry, you will get a chance to play with it, you won't miss out. Mentioning one of the technical issues that they're having is that it's been rough trying to finalize the process of generating an appropriate build that then ensures that players on Steam will be able to acquire a build for this flighting program as well. So maybe Steam might have their own kind of quality assurance or level of polish that they need when it comes to being able to play MCC on PC for these flighting programs so that obviously adding in a whole nother party can cause some issues. I guarantee if it was just something that was only on the Windows Store that it would certainly probably be even a little bit faster to get this out. But the problem is you'd be playing on the Windows Store and no one really wants to do that. The sketch does mention about the potential for a time frame when the flying program will start. As he did say previously that the end of April will happen. April's passed. No fly program has happened. And sketch does say he just doesn't want to give you guys a date right now. He just can't do that for sure because I know you can't say a date and then have it pass and then say another date and have it pass. People will start becoming much more skeptical of the whole process. You will want better communication with the development team at 343 and so we're getting that right now. They're being upfront and honest with us saying that's a lot of work and we're doing the best I can. We just gonna need a little more time and so i totally understand it and i really do appreciate that open communication that uh, 343 has been giving us especially since the updates for the mcc have been kind of rolling out so what does this mean now moving forward guys means that mcc updates probably new playlists or events like the yapping probably going to be halted pretty much maybe some new playlists or rotating or something like that but uh, any new content or new playlist or anything like that's not really going to happen because 343 is going to be all hands on deck when it comes to trying to get first of all Halo Infinite going properly and also getting the MCC to PC and bringing reach to the MCC as well. So uh, 343 and the associated partners that they're working with certainly have their hands full. I do not envy them. But I am certainly happy for them. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure or learn something from it. Please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. And it greatly helps out the video and channel. Uh, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are of the MCC update here. You know, obviously a little more time in the oven. But it's gonna, when it does come out, it's going to be fantastic. And if you guys are new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know some boxes or feeds can be kind of weird at times on here on YouTube. So if you tap the follow button along with the bell, it'll keep you up to date pretty easily. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, please make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.